Hello everybody, welcome to Super League. We've got Stryder84 with his Wood Elves versus Olivier Dulac with his Skaven. Olivier won the toss, chose to kick. Benching two line rats. Uh, sometimes you'll see people bench the sidestep gutter and or the thrower, but he's fielding his full strength team on, on defense versus these Wood Elves. Interesting matchup, this isn't it? Very interesting matchup in terms of the races and the skills and everything. Also the table. I'll flash it up here for you. If Olivier draws or wins, he wins the group. And if he loses, he's out. So uh, it's really weird, you know, to be so high up, nearly winning the league, but also nearly losing it. If Strider wins, he'll go level with Seabros, but um, he won't qualify on if Bright also wins. Bright is playing Kfog. If Bright wins and Strider wins, then Seabros and Bright will qualify. Whatever happens, Seabros will qualify. He has the head-to-head -head over Bright. So um, there we go. And standard, mostly standard roster from Strider. Money for reroll. Um, uh, money for reroll. So like giving up a skill to get more money so we can buy the reroll. Um, so he's only got six skills, which are two wrestle, two dodge, a sidestepper, and a stripper. Sidestep, tackle, or frenzy are your three choices. Hate this position for him. That's funny, isn't it? I really hate that. These could be one above. So they're still screening it, and it means that if you fail to pick up, they won't scatter up to there, you know, anywhere in front of them. Accidentally. And I just don't think there's really a need to be tight anyway. Right? I think I'd rather pick it up and then move into a spot better. Um, and the rats. This was so. This was Strider's team at Euroball, and this was Olivier Dulac's team at Euroball. Um, Jugs, guard, mighty leader, wrestle, strip, block, sidestep. So it was a one-point package for Strider to swap the skill for money. It was a two-point package for Olivier Dulac to get the extra skill. Um, no, and I'm glad we didn't because I finished last this season after after saying for five seasons there's no shame in finishing last. After finishing last, I did f actually feel shame and felt bad. <laughs> That's true, yes, uh, Skytruck. Um, Strider is fielding a tree man. Though, unfortunately, the Wood Elf tree man is the worst kind of tree man, isn't he? Um, the Old World Alliance and the Gnome Tree Men both get passing access and timber. Whereas the Wood Elf Tree does not get timber and does not get passing access. And of course, Halfling Trees don't have loan. Do Gnome Trees have loan or not? I don't know. Yes, the comedy Euro Ball Hungry rules looked horrific. They looked horrific. The meme archive. <laughs> yeah. Store doesn't play blue ball anymore, I hear it, but uh you might you might be tempted to do some some memery cataloging. I mean maybe put this there on purpose, right, so we can't get stripped. Oh yeah, maybe. It's literally the stripper could be so you could go a square forward and still be not a strip range. So I do think these one forward and then move forward is better. Yeah. Probably another one lost to Blood Bowl 3. It's mad how many how many how many people we lost to Blood Bowl 3. Tragedy. Full power. Just realised that's the reason for this guy being further back, right? So that he doesn't get bitten by the rogue when it blitzes. <laughs> Flipping rogue. I hate it. Interesting. You just keep. You could just keep out of range of the stripper, right? Could just stay back for a little bit. 
try to fight the rats that are there. Doesn't seem great though, does it? Fighting Mighty Blow every turn. Maybe he should have dackered. Dio. Dio like quitted in silence as well. He just completely quitted. Um, didn't go to Euro Bowl, hasn't been on Fumble for months. So, don't even know if he's okay. Oh, horrible take root. Very weird, isn't it? I don't know if anyone's spoken to him, you know, outside of that or not, but really weird, isn't it? Sidestep, risky. So he's going to have to 136 away. Fails do happen. I mean, he literally has to. Right? Yeah, it's it's completely bonkers. They can't have anything to do with that. Oh, so he's finally going to go around and try and put some pressure on. Now the thing with this is, oh, I'll put on, I'll put on the, uh, the skill rings for a couple of turns here for people. Um, yeah, the hungry rules, insane. But you know, hopefully it's far away from what I've done because it's insane. Um, Olivier likes his roger, doesn't he? They're just insane. Hold on. Well, it's like an American Tom. That's how insane it is. Um, just completely batshit. It's it's literally too hard to try and say what's wrong with it because it's completely bonkers. Yeah, eleven hundred for like most for, for like tier one gets eleven hundred, and everyone else gets like eleven seventies. Get the most is eleven seventy. Because everyone gets between 1100 and 1117. Weird rules for skills and stuff, and it's just, it's just awful. Just awful. Awful, awful. Weird things where people get scout, which I don't really know what that means. And like one person can snipe people, it's just, it's just awful. Awful. But yeah, all the fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if everybody was using that, it'd be pretty terrible, wouldn't it? Oh. It's an instant remover. In case you're next to the tree here, can't you? But, um. Gonna have to fish for a pal first with a catcher. And fails as to use a reroll. But obviously better better a one in eighty one than a one in thirty six, right? If he tried to dodge, so try to save himself a dodge, cost himself a reroll. Should he just dodge? The thing is, if he dodges, um, he's 1 in 36 to just lose, right? Whereas if he blocks, he's 30% to power the gut runner, maybe kill it. And uh, he's only 9% to use a reroll. And he's 1 in 81 to lose the game instead of 1 in 36. Banging people is really good. 
he'd already blitzed, but yes, blitzing the ball carrier. The problem then, it's only a 2D, but then you've got the ball down as well as a hit, haven't you? So yeah, he could have done. Doesn't want to make it 3D, but yeah, he could have, he could have blitzed the ball carrier, yeah. It was always allowed, but he couldn't afford another assist in, could he? Will he go for the sack here? Oh my god, he's got... <laughs> Look at Dog, doesn't even kill his gutter runner. If that was me, I'd have definitely killed my gutter runner. Ah! <laughs> oh, well, good. Good shithead rat ogre. Good. Oh, I love it. I love it when rat ogres fail. He gets to hit those up there. And stunned, yep. And now he gets to cage around the tree on the backside, right? Which is amazing. Amazing getting to getting to uh, knock these guys out and then cage around them. Ronga here. That's where he wants to go. He could blitz with a dancer, right? He could, uh, he could. Blitz from there. Push him away. So he's block blocking with block and then punch him. But then he's given up a block if he does that, so he'd rather... He'd rather like fit this one, probably other leader, wouldn't he? And just block these guys. Souls Roger would have died, yes. Yeah. Correct. Strider's doing here. Oh wait, the time's not going down. He's paused it. The game is paused. Probably something to do with his kid. I was a bit bamboozled that he was taking so long. I wasn't paused. I was thinking this was the thing. It was the clock probably was going down. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Errata, errata, errata. So now you blitz this guy, right? Oh no, yeah, he gets to punch him again. I was literally was just thinking the time wasn't run, run, running down. Oh my god, yeah, blitz the blitz the strip is good, isn't it? So I think he's just going to go here with the ball. It would have been really nice to go past it, wouldn't it? Get a few more squares forward. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it must have been, yeah. I would have really wanted to get past. Like, you doesn't have to, right? Because this is stunned. So, you know, you can't force getting forward, right? At the end of the day, you're up against the stripper. Things can happen. So it's best not to force getting forward. But, um... It would have been nice to have been able to get forward, wouldn't it? Needs to remember he's got this player here. She might have forgotten. The fact he's done a blockless block implies that he has forgotten about this player down here. Which is a pretty bad mistake. He's probably like zoomed in like this, right? And just just completely this guy's now out of his mind. He's just here. Whereas Olivier will be sat here like the, in this view going, ha ha ha, he has he got you over here. <laughs> and he's going for it, yeah. Oh, 
stunned by a gutter runner. So now we can go to this, use it as this corner, right? Block this one and then blitz the leader. Hey, he's remembered him. So see if you're powering there. But then you really want to blitz the mighty blow as well, actually. Because he's blocking him, then you can blitz him. Hmm. Super interesting. That's the power. What's the keeper doing? <laughs> oh my god, huge Kaz gets rid of the leader reroll. And this is why you'll see like Sol always bench the thrower and defense, right? Because he wants to save the at least one reroll for the one turn. So by not fielding him on defense, then uh, he's essentially the same as the line out on defense. And then he has him guaranteed not to be cast. Which is quite good, so I do like that Sol does that. Does get the pow, a little bit risky to not power. The problem here is like getting punched by Mighty Blow right in return. Even with dodge, it's still not great. You're still getting 55% powered by Mighty Blow. So there's a lot to be said for blitzing this guy, but then, yeah, this one's defenseless and armor at cost and it's looted, so it's all... This was a really good hit as well, it's just, it's just the problem of giving the mighty blow hit back. And maybe chaining him somewhere? That doesn't look too sensible, too viable. Gets him down and kills him, there you go. <laughs> Absolute standard price to pay. <laughs> Well, it feels good to be right sometimes, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, he rolled a 1 on the end of the Savagery. Didn't have anyone next to him, so... There you go. A very quick turn. Turn 6. I'd like to blitz the Stripper again, but it's pretty difficult now. So probably just going to go up to here. So that turn seven we can go to here. Can plenty of space to move into. Get far enough away from the roll because it's not a thing. So yeah, just like here. Take the roll of the threat out. Ooh. Is he basing this guard in him? Oh yeah, because he's got hits here. Oh my god, these three have got hits. Yeah, he gets he gets the cage just out of range and gets to punch things. Oof, one nine has to re-roll this. Pushes in. And now this makes this one dangerous if it's a push. But that's why he's dodged him. Oh my god. Goodness, he has to re-roll the dub skulls. Just has to. It's the power. That's <laughs> some horrible dice for Strider. <laughs> Jesus. I imagine Olivier will uh, go all men's here. Just making Strider roll dice at this point is going to be pretty nice, isn't it? Honestly, I wonder if that was a mistake, that block. Um, just because he could have been, you know, coming down, he could have dodged away, he could have dodged both of them off and had them, like, both facing. Hello? Hello, Bob? <laughs> Oh, do you uh, do you play tabletop with Olivier? Do you like Euro ball on that? I don't know. I 
he's finally done well this season. He had he had a couple of uh, he had a couple of dodgy seasons in Super League, but now he's got the you know the package, the extra skill package for the eight skill Skaven, and uh, he's got a chance, got a chance to win the group. Three D. Huge, apples it because that's the side stepper for the one turn. And again, why Sol doesn't feel the side stepper? He guarantees the side stepper and the leader for the one turn. I really like. I really, really like benching the side stepper and the thrower on defense. I really like that a lot. <laughs> when I played my Underworld game, I benched the Gutter, the Thrower, and the Rat Ogre. <laughs> Not the rat, rat Ogre, the Troll. I had the Troll. I think I, but I would have, I would have benched the Rat Ogre as well. I think I benched the Rat Ogre for my Skaven. Yeah, yeah. I, when I had Skaven, I benched. When I had Skaven, I benched the Rat Ogre. I think the Rat Ogre in the sidestepper. Yeah. But Underworld just bench, bench the throw and the cut it. I probably did bench a rat over one time, but I think Troll's better now. Well, I mean, I always thought it was better, but I think now it's undisputable that the Troll's better. Yeah, I think fielding the throw is pretty bad. I mean, it does give you a bit of flexibility, right? If you want to use the rerolls on defense, right? If you get a really good ball sucking opportunity, the, the, the you know, the the chance of being able to go for it is there, whereas, you know, but generally you want to save your rules for one turn. At least save at least one rule for one turn, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think not fielding the thrower is uh, very good. But there was one game, I'm sure, where Olivier used the thrower on defense. So it's possible. Are we fouling the catcher here? It's not a catcher. Wait, is it a catcher? Yeah, it is a catcher. Oh, I've left the bloody wings on. This is really, yeah, exactly. The, the rat hog is the most reliable big guy in the game. Reliably shit. Can't hit the um, mighty blow. And he's got no rerolls, yeah, so just score. That's probably exactly his thinking, wasn't it? It was just like, oh, who can I hit? Then realising, wait a minute, I've got no rerolls. Here we go. Two rerolls for the one turn. Apple was used on the side stepper, but no thrower. Which means no pickup reroll as well. Now, Strider made a massive mistake versus the Rat Ogre last game. Will he do better this time? <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think it's okay to cobble shit things shit. Especially if you say because. So this is what he's gone with here. I am not as good as K Fog, so I'm not sure if this is uh, how possible this is. Don't know how good Olivia is at one turns. Like he's scored, he's scored some, he's done some nice one turns in Super Bowl, but it's Super Bowl, Super League. But you know, I don't know if he's careful of level of one turn or not. So 
Plant a power dancer. And then... And then uh, push this guy to there. Then you need the mighty blow here and you need to swap these two. No, he's not doing that. So what's he doing then? You could have like the gutter here, right? Oh yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna try and block him with this one, so he needs to swap these two. So he blocks him, powers him, but then he'll like sidestep to here, but then I guess it doesn't matter. This is uh this is wrong, right? These two are the wrong way around. Or like he should have had a player here. Maybe he should have still had a player here anyway. This has got the great advantage of the two plus catch, hasn't it? But um, this is just definitely the wrong way around. Because now... Oh, I guess he blocks and then uses a blitz. Like, he was always going to sidestep into there, wasn't he? Which then means you need to jump over to fill this one. But that's okay. Like, that's actually fine. So one of these gutters can come up, jump. And then you push, push, push. But then you haven't got a player here or here to punch. That was the problem. He, he needed to swap these two, like I said. So there you go. Or have another player here. So pretty... Pretty, pretty big mistake by Olivia, really. Like the the idea was fine, right? Punch this guy and then put put punch twice with this. Like this one can blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, he's got it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So so that's the player. But he hasn't got anyone to punch because he he fucked this up. These two have to be the other way around, or a player here. No, 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 it's not a straight line at all, no. No, you've just got to be, like, adjacent and end. Like, do a block, right? If you jump from here, it's like a block. It's where you'd push them on a block is where you can jump to. Or you can just dodge. You can dodge and GFI. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? But that means he's moved that guy. Was that guy? Yeah, I guess he moved that guy. But he, he can't do it. He can't do it because he fucking got this wrong. Well, no, he's, it means he's got a block. It means he's got a block here, right? It means he's got a block here. He still can do it. It just means he's got a block here. But had he done it, had he had, had he swapped these two around, he could have blitzed with a rat ogre, which would have given him the block forward, right? Which is obviously way better. So he got a bit lucky. He got a bit lucky there. He did it wrong, but got lucky. Whoa. So yeah, bit of a bit of a mistake, but um, saved by rolling well. <laughs> Strider, sad. The problem is they don't have to do the dodges, right? Like backline, at least they've got to. Uh, at least they've got a four-three-two. That kind of probably better, right? That wasn't really difficult. That really wasn't really difficult. For, uh, Olivia, he probably should have filled in one of the squares first, right? Before he hit the 
the dancer. No, because the dancer was stood there, wasn't it? So it would have been, it would have been a four plus dodge first. No, so you couldn't fill it in first. I don't think you should backline against rats. I think you should backline versus K Fog and L Yod and Olivier Dulac and me. <laughs> but versus, you know, the tier down from that, you can probably stop them. The problem is if you're playing people you don't know how good at one turning they are, do you? So. Oh, now Olivier's on offence, isn't it? The deadline on. And 11 versus 10 now. So D. And Sol. I just backline versus Sol. I, just, I can't stop him. Man. He's got a sidestepper. He's got a sidestepper and a rat ogre. I just can't stop him. So it, it depends. It depends. I guess like you can judge them on how they've played the game so far, right? Because the push denial can work. I mean, the push denial is better. It, the, it gets better the worse they are, right? Like, Olivia made a mistake there, didn't he? Like, they, they can at least make the mistakes. If you, uh, if you do the push... If you put the push defense. Good players can make mistakes. Um, but, of course, you can make mistakes as well, right? Like, because Strider made a mistake defending the one turn versus Sol. So... A strider. I'm sorry, it's Oz. Was it Strider? Somebody. Somebody made... I think it was Strider. It might have been versus Olivier last time. Um, so the problem is by going push down, you can make a mistake yourself as well. Right? So I guess there is that. Interesting, isn't it? It's, inter it's super interesting. Full foul. Kaz. Rat Olga. Most reliable big guy in the game. Two players up. It's pretty good for the rats, isn't it? Maybe three with these hits. Could have covered could have covered the ball before that blitz, couldn't he? Artemis was probably going absolutely mental. Um could have absolutely had the blocker back to pick it up. Sidestep was quite good though. Sidestep and got the sideline, can he? But you know, these moves here could have been made. Nah, maybe not that one. One, these these two could have been made, right? These two could have been here, and then he could have still had a rat over there. Follows up on the tree. Interesting. That a lazy misclick. Or was it? Was he trying to keep the tree on him so that he keeps the tree pinned? But he could chain the tree onto both of those, right? The, the play here is to chain. That seems a really bad follow. He definitely just blitz him, chain the tree into there, right? Million percent. Million percent. Maybe not. Oh, he's going to chain the roger off. Hmm. Six and two threes, I guess. Well, it's, it's your stand firm, so you just choose not to stand firm. Um, so, like... Like Olivier couldn't do it, but um, Strider could put a player in behind. 
and then blitz this guy and then just choose not to stand firm and then push him there and then smash this guy in three dice and be on both both blitzers would have been really nice um but like you, you, what you can do i you know if would with uh with werewolves and flesh golems you'll see them always uh you know they'll put in the three players blitz in the flesh golem and then like stand firm on the first hit but then like second hit they might then not stand firm on the second hit and stuff depending on what happens i really like chain it's funny isn't it because like you know i'm not saying that i'm right and strider's wrong uh, strider valued getting the roger off more um whereas i valued getting the tree in with kind of six and two threes You couldn't ch chain him if he was rooted, but he's not. He's not rooted. If he, if he was rooted, you couldn't chain him at all. You, you can't. You can't choose to not stand firm if uh, if you're rooted. Instant full power. Much better than last turn. Yeah, boys already covered. Olivia does this half dacker quite a lot. Interesting. Because it's good because you can fall back into a full dacker, can't you, sometimes? And then you're also kind of closer to do something, but I would generally rather play properly or Daka. <laughs> Olivier uh, wins the group with a draw, and Strider is out on a draw. So Strider absolutely has to pressure here, trying to make something happen. Probably with a strip dancer. So he just needs to get the strip the stripper close enough to do something, right? And then go for something at some point. Surprise so didn't put the tree there, right? So we can put the tree on two players. Quite like having the tree on two players. Blitz this catcher. Don't hate it. Nope. He's going down the sideline, maybe. <laughs> Another Kaz. <laughs> oh my god. Rattle the OP. This is like a sideline cage. Geophyte the sideline cage. There's a prone catcher there. This, so you can't be sideline caging. You just can't. I guess it's going to cage around here. Yeah. Oh, so this is uh, an incorrect Venger bus, right? The guard should have been on the sideline. One of these two squares. Because the interior guy can be anybody. So the guard isn't there or there, so this stripper's right here, can go there, jump in, and 2D in. Oh. Even more reason to now. I guess it's not easy to cancel this. Like, he's got to do it, what? He's got to come in there and do a 4-plus dodge. 
And obviously around the back is easy. Well, that's really tempting to go for the two two dice strip, isn't it? Really tempting. This is quite good, the roger here. You could just uphill the roger, right? Uphill the roger with wrestle, and then but then you could just fucking surf the roger, actually. Lots of options, not many players. But like this is a golden opportunity to uh, jump in and strip. The problem is he's gonna he's gonna size up to there, and you see, current you kind of do need to just uphill the rover if you're going for the strip. I think. Understand that move. And blitz the gutter, then block the roger. Seems like it's too many players to like not do much. That's my problem with it. Uphill would have worked just quietly. Oh, this works better though. <laughs> Casual cars. Does the tree go here? Here? Oh, no, he doesn't. He fucking goes stupid. Takes root. It must be really tempting to try and just get the ball this gutter run away. Really tempting. Just bang it in, two one up, you can't lose. And he only needs the draw to win the group. That looks like it's going to be very sensible. And he can still have two gutters downfield anyway if he wants. Step, wasn't it? <laughs> He's gonna get him into two D. Wrestling. It was a little bit messy, wasn't it? Using like eight players to deal with one, <laughs> but managed it. Gets the stun. It was a really brutal, uh, really brutal route for Strider. And now I don't really know how he's going to... I think he had to go for the ball that turn. I think he had to uphill the rogue and go for the ball. Four plus leap into 2D with blocked and straight was pretty good, wasn't it? I just didn't think he was going to do better than that. Is the problem? Like, it wasn't a great opportunity or anything, but I just thought it's the best you're going to get. But maybe not. Maybe he's got a better turn this... Uh, the problem is, like, the recovery this turn, right? He's got a better ball-sacking chance, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... No, not really, actually. I guess he could go for a 1D easily. He could have easily t got a 1D on the ball. The problem is like he's got so few players 
it's just really hard for him to like control the pitch to the point that he can stop the two runners going past him. <laughs> that seems a pretty impossible task. The fact that a touchdown on any turn, you know, essentially knocks out Strider and secures Olivier's position. Very difficult. And now he hasn't really gotten his way at all, has he? So we're gonna see a very advanced cage, I would imagine. No, nope, not very advanced. Could have definitely got further for I would have gone further forward just because I could honestly. Cause I'd like to threaten the touchdown, right? Like this could have all been like these these four could have all just been here instead, right? And this guy could have been the back one instead of the front one. And I guess this like maybe he's got a better sidestep square if he gets sacked, but no, you could you could sidestep back and it's still pretty about the same. I mean, now you've just got to go for the strip, I think. I think you just fucking have to go. You can't spend all game here not going for it. Well, maybe you can. Like, there's no you can sidestep to that's safe, right? If he sidesteps to here, the ball could bounce onto your dancer, bounce onto the blitzer, bounce onto the lineman, bounce onto the catcher, catches it. <laughs> Hands it off, off he fucks. And you're alright. You can be my wingman anytime. Great, oh, You can be mine. Hello, thank you very much. <laughs> it's break it, isn't it? Break it, but you know, I start with breaky T, so I've got to, <laughs> got to, I've got to stick with breaky T. Hello, you're French, aren't you? Welcome, breaky T, breaky T viewers. Is this your hero, Olivier Dunk? <laughs> Maybe gonna win his group in Super League. He needs a draw or a win to uh, to win the group. And Strider is playing a bit too conservatively, I think, and uh, he needs to make something happen here. It's like no players and isn't trying. Isn't trying could be taken too harsh. Like he's not he's not going for the ball. I, I think he should have gone for the ball a couple of times. It's the fact it's one one and a one one eliminates Strider and wins the group for Olivia. Like Olivia can just run back, can't he? He can just run back a few squares. Like, Strider has to get after the ball. Has to get after the ball. Now his, now his strip is getting smashed by Mighty Ball. Um, yeah, it looks that way a little bit, right? From Stry Which is crazy, because Strider has to win. 100% has to win. A draw is absolutely nothing to no use to him whatsoever. There's a long way to go for Olivier. I know he's rats, but still a long way to go. Like, is it? It's too far, isn't it? It's too, it is too far. Yeah, it's too far. Could have just been back here. I mean, I guess you you can say you don't need this cage corner, but because he's lost the he's lost the stripper, so there's only the sidestepper that can blitz him. But. Ah, this guy is... Okay, that guy kind of secures it. Only kind of, though, honestly. Because Strider should be playing desperately now. So this catcher could be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Come through, get the assist on. Oh, 
not that he particularly needs an assist. But no, he kind of does because he's got to cancel this. So he could run all the way around and cancel here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Run all the way around and cancel there. Leap in, 2D in, and then this one goes through somehow. But he hasn't got strip now, and he had strip all the other turns. And he hasn't got really any any recovery, so I guess that was what, that was Olivier's reason for going as far as he possibly could. Oh dear. I'm glad that people say ODL. I, I, I didn't think I'd made it up, but uh, <laughs> but somebody made me feel stupid for saying ODL. So now I'm happy it's not stupid. Oh, here we go. Has to re-roll it because he's not got strip, and doesn't get the ball because he's not got strip. Yep, I think I think Strider waited too long to go for the ball, honestly. And then exposed his stripper. Which, um, can't re-roll this, can he? So now Olivier can go anywhere from this line and be pretty safe. Can clear the dancer with a blitz. squares from anything did he? It was just instant. Instant 2D for a push. Yeah, he just he just has to click on this guy and then know that he's you know, safe anywhere in all of this. All of these squares he's safe. Could do the GFI, couldn't need to be completely safe, but he can just foul him at the end. Not fouling him. Interesting. Oh, he's going to chain him out, but then he. <laughs> he's going to chain him back. Out of range, but then he got double skulls. Maybe he should have bought, bought down. He probably should have re rolled that, right? He probably should have re rolled that. Because this guy's in range. What, one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, probably? It's not great, is it? But it's possible. This, uh, this line right had to be here. Definitely. It's definitely the wrong square. This one could even try and serve, right? Three, four, five, and then G if I G. Oh, he's, he's sidestep. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. So this way then, dodge, and then you're probably going to pop dodge. So you might as well just go for the leap, and then dodge, dodge, G if I G if I power, sidesteps to there, and this guy runs, picks it up, lobs it to him, who's just been cleared by this guy, and then he runs down. And get you the win. Oh no, like I stood up. Fuck. I wonder if he's gonna do the leap. I quite like this leap here. Yeah. Oh, God, brilliant. Square left, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, there you go. That's it, isn't it? It's a, it's a 2-1 win or a 2-2 draw. Well, it's not yet. It's not yet. Might fail the dice roll. There's still a, there's still a dancer scoring threat. And there's still dice to be rolled. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Could double one. Complete say one, two, three. I can just come up this way as well. Pals. Didn't matter which way you hit them, right? Because the side slip. Like it seems like a stupid idea to hit him from the <laughs> from the bottom. <laughs> uh, well there you go. Not a one in twelve nine six. Oh yes, the touchdown dance. You love to see it. There you go, one turn chance from Strider. Will he even bother? That is the question. It's completely irrelevant now at this point. This also means that Kf versus Bright is also irrelevant. Um, so they can still play if they want to. But it also means we can uh, start the playoffs without them. I mean, Strider could just go for the practice of the one turn, right? I don't hate doing that. People don't practice one turns enough. Unless unless they're K-Fog. <laughs> Pretty much, I would say. I would say K-Fog is absolutely... Undeniable number one, one turner. So, you know, might as well, might as well do this just for the practice. One turning is something I was going to do. It's videos, honestly. Do some one turn videos, and then that will help me practice. Bits with the wrestler was the uh, was the thing. It was weird. It was weird play from Strider. Str I think Strider played way too passively. I think Strider played way too passively when he needed the win. There was a couple of times he could have gone in for the strip, and they weren't they weren't amazing chances, right? They weren't amazing chances, but they were better than what he ended up getting. So if he was playing for the draw, it it wasn't too bad. But um, it wasn't too too bad if he was going for the draw. But the draw is loses in the game is the problem. He had to win. <laughs> classic, classic blitz moment. Do you know what? I got blitzed on. I got blitzed on and still nearly scored a one turn. But to be fair, it was underworld. So I, <laughs> I had the, I had the troll, I had the troll throw chance. After my uh, gutter was instantly powed and removed. <laughs> <laughs> This is quite good, isn't it? Because it changed the dancer back. And even with sidestep, that's uh, really difficult. I wouldn't bet on Strider getting this one turn, or probably even attempting it now. <laughs>
But whatever happens, it's undefeated this season for Olivier. Finally getting the OP package of uh, an extra skill for Skaven. I mean, so, honestly, I quite liked Sol's uh, strip ball, uh, strip ball and wrestle. I quite liked that. Kept him alive in games. But I mean, I, I really did like the Skaven two-point package. Skaven and Undead both got it, didn't they? And made good use of it. And then, funnily enough, when we've allowed it, um, two Undead teams. Well, only one dead. Only one Undead with the package. But the VNC was both with both with the two point package. Off first and second. So there you go, congratulations to Olivier, commiserations to Strider. And I shall bring up the table for you. You can see <laughs> Not the gutters. There's been a few, yeah, there's been a few. The problem is, I don't want to nerf gutters. Like, gutters are pretty cool. Like, they've already been nerfed, haven't they, by stop them being movement 10, possibly, which was which was ludicrous. Like, natties were ridiculous. And that was always the problem, wasn't it? Multiple rerolls. Like, this is what I said. When when they made the multiple reroll thing, I'm like, this just makes one turning better. <laughs> okay, you lose natties, but multiple rerolls is insane on a one turn attempt. Completely insane. But there you go, look at that, undefeated. Um, finally gets a good season in, tops the group. And that means that Olivier will be playing Dimmy. And we've got a re in the other semi final is a rematch of uh, the last season's final, which is Andy Devo versus Seabros. But this time Seabros has Undead instead of Dark Elves. So uh, there you go. Very exciting. Undead versus Rats and Undead versus Necro. So they are locked in and we can get these... Both of these games will be able to get played before the World Cup starts. So that's very nice, isn't it? Get that wrapped up before the World Cup, which most of the people in this <laughs> are in the World Cup, right? K-Fog's in. Bright's in. I think Str yeah, Strider's in, I'm sure. Seabros is in. Olivier's in. So five out of that group are in the World Cup. Blue Ball 3, uh, Devo's in, and I'm in. There's only two from the other group, I think. I think only two from this group are in, and five from the other group. So there you go. Um, right, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.